Hey folks, very excited today. Today we're gonna bring you a house, resort style pool, once again. Koi Pond, Brazilian cherry wood floors, Wolf brand uh, range in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, three en suites. What else do you need? A swimming pool with a resort? Let's go, follow me, let's see this house. Welcome to Las Cruces. Okie dokie folks, so yes, very excited. Let's go check out this house. Remember, we're right here by the Oregon Mountains. From what I understand, uh, claimed by the owner. Check out those Oregon Mountains there, Vlad. Do me a favor, show off this, uh, this view. Because that's one thing we're gonna be showing off today is the 360 views. You're supposed to be able to see the city, the whole valley. Check out these mountains just from this side of the house. From what I am told, the owner believes that the, they are sitting on possibly the highest home site in Las Cruces uh, with uh, the highest vantage point. Even uh, higher than some of the small skyscrapers that we have in our city. So let's see if that's true. Let's get to the top of this house and see what we can bring you. We're gonna have resort style pool, uh, outdoor living with it obviously. Uh, a little koi pond with big fish, with big koi. Look at this amazing balcony. Look at your pool area folks. Your outdoor grill living area pool area here in the middle of summer a uh, winter but gosh I'm told today middle of January we're gonna hit about 70 degrees how cold is it in your city all right so we walked around here let's see what this uh, vantage point looks like to the valley I love the uh, pavers that they use on top here the balcony nothing but uh, nice finishes here and then check this out folks look at your view you're still higher than that uh, multi-million dollar house. I was told that those skyscrapers may be higher than us way down there in the valley, but uh, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like we are the highest house in the city. Even down there, I see a skyscraper down there, the, the hospital, but is that considered a skyscraper? All right, folks, let's start off, see what we learn about this house, okay? Five bathrooms, four bedrooms. Three of them have an ensuite. We're gonna run into a game room. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got. All right, okay, so we're in. I love it. Uh, let me take you off here to the formal dining room. That's what I would use it for, beautiful chandelier or your formal living room with the centered fireplace. Brazilian cherry wood here on the floors, okay? Not the cheap laminate flooring. Beautiful fireplace. Stone work all the way up. I love it, I love it. Uh, you're gonna see shutters throughout the house, folks. That's not cheap, on a 2,400 square foot house or 2,100 square foot house, you're gonna spend at least $6,000 on shutters. What do you think this 5,000 square foot home costs to put shutters in? Look at that beautiful chandelier. Oh man, I love it. Okay, and then coming around, we still have not gone up yet. We're gonna have three levels, folks. Going up this one uh, is gonna lead us to our master. Your master bedroom's gonna have it, uh, its own uh, floor to itself. Also cherry wood floors. This here, we're walking on travertine tile. Travertine tile, they, it, they didn't spare uh, any expense. They remodeled this in about 2009. So they put a lot of touches. I love this coffered ceiling, folks. Give this a look. Recessed speakers, recessed canned lights. Also the use of cherry wood floor. Here's one tidbit, folks, when you're building a house, Keep in mind, we're in the Sonoma Ranch area. We're in the high-end areas. Let's say we take you to Picacho Hills or some of the golfing areas that where your house needs to be up to spec as far as if you want to resell it later. They did a nice remodel uh, a couple years ago. Why? Well, this house was built uh, not nine years ago. And look at all these nice things that when you're building your new house, just these cherry wood floors and all these nice features that maybe they didn't have 10, 10 20 years ago, they are now uh, able to be found. So make sure you work with somebody that knows how to build modern, uh, elegant houses and is not stuck in the olden days because things have changed overnight. Okay, so coming into the kitchen, you're gonna see still the use of travertine tile here. Uh, they have, a, um, without knowing where they bought it from or when they bought it, uh, from a level five to level seven granite countertop, beautiful bull, bull nose edge uh, routering and finish. Now look at this. One thing to keep in mind folks 
a true granite countertop uh, specialist, when they have a corner, they're supposed to router and try to finish it off to that corner. That's a true granite countertop finish. So if you have a straight hard edge and you're going for a certain look, contemporary, fine here. But here they picked up on the fact that there's a post. So to ac uh, accentuate that, give it a little build out. Not only does it uh, do the proper thing, because if it's a natural stone on top of a, a pedestal, it's gonna be built out, but it just gives it that elegant look. So what do you think? Uh, Wolf brand stove, these are not cheap folks. Can't believe the, I can't remember the last time I bought one or a, a priced one, never bought one, but it is a commercial grade Wolf brand stove, not cheap, minimum 10 grand in my opinion. You got your pop filler here. Beautiful backsplash work with your deco tile ribbons and bands. Nice, beautiful, elegant hood. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this, I'm loving this. Let's continue on folks, and this is where you would end up uh, having your breakfast, staring off at the mountains all day long. I even like the, the use of the grates, just a little bit elegant type grate there uh, for the air vents. And then if you're here, and it's a beautiful day like this, Put your little table out here and have your lunch. I mean, your breakfast here. If you let me stop talking, you can listen to the birds twer uh, twerping or tweeting, whatever, however you call it. And this was, if you know, notice, this is where we came in through, folks. We're right off the kitchen and uh, whatnot. So every day when you're cooking or eating your breakfast, this is your start off to the morning is facing the kitchen. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, now inside. Check this out, folks. Let me see if I can open this. So if you're downstairs in the garage, folks, hey, I need my pizza and my uh, soft drink or hard drink. Maybe this does the trick. Oh. <laughs> okay, cheers, my friend. What kind of beer are we having today? So that's what you need, okay? Here's your laundry room, folks. If you're not sure what that is, that's floor plan is if in case you're out on vacation and you have a water leak, at the very least, you hope that your floor pan catches all your uh, drain, your water draining. Here's your pantry. Nothing uh, major there to look at. Uh, that's where all your food's gonna go. Since we're on this level, folks, I'm gonna take you downstairs real quick to the garage before we see the rest of the rooms. Let's see a little bit dark. Maybe we edit it out for you, but it put a little bit of glow light here, leading to your four car garage. So you come home, this is your way up into the kitchen. Maybe you want to scoot yourself in that little elevator thing, huh? And here's your four car garage, folks. Sorry, I don't have more light on in here for you, but this is what you end up getting. This is your four car garage. Let's see if we can capture this. The home comes with two HVAC systems, okay? Uh, there's one, the other one, I'm not sure what it is, and it has two water heaters, water softening system, reverse osmosis system, and might as well give this a look. We're giving the garage a look. Let's see this uh, resort style living. I love their use of, uh, it just uh, gives me like this Greek feel. All their use of materials is just amazing. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Get your fireplace. You could easily have at least 50 to 100 people out here and they're all gonna be comfortable either sitting there, sitting there, hanging out over here. There's still even a wraparound section. Let's go see what's going on in this yard over here. Now, one of these covers, folks, uh, I think you're in for at the very least six to $7,000, maybe 10,000 on a pool cover this size. You're supposed to be able to stand anywhere between 10 to 20 people on it. Don't quote me, because I don't know how much you weigh. And look at this area. It's still a huge yard for your, your family, for some house that you want to put out here, another seating area, a gazebo, planting, whatnot. It's amazing. All right, folks, let's zip you back in through that garage and back upstairs and see what we got. I love the seating area. Even the table is just giving you that old Greek vibe. All their materials used are amazing. Let's do this. So from the stairs, it actually leads into the, uh, let's say you're out here entertaining people. Uh, let's go into the game room and then we'll start off back at the uh, kitchen so you can see how that feels going into the backyard. But let's say you came in from upstairs, the kitchen, it has a staircase, uh, remember, Brazilian cherry wood. Here's your game room down here. 
We just walked into that bathroom. Show them that bathroom, Vlad, that we just walked through. I didn't even talk about the bathroom as I blew by it. Granite countertops, beautiful scene. So more storage, this 5,000 square foot house has given us a lot of storage. And uh, you got your game room, right? All your friends and guests. Uh, you got even your microwave, beer and wine uh, cooler bar, ice chests right there, wet sink with your reverse osmosis system, beautiful backsplash with these deco ribbons. I love that, just that whole Greek feel, lots of cabinetry. Anybody out for some pool? I guess the poker table has to go there, right? Storage galore. This is under the um, staircase storage, so not much to see there. This is elegant chandeliers throughout. They have not uh, gone off theme. They really went elegant. Look at even the chandelier here for the, uh, the lights to the pool table. They just matched the theme. And then here's another access point to the pool area. If you're out here partying, Look at those mountains, folks. Ridiculous. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Lots of recessed lighting. I would want more lighting in this house, that's for sure. Um, easy to point out, maybe uh, cans. They run about $150 a can because they can usually jump them off. You know, they're low, low voltage. You should be able to put in more cans in here if you want more lighting. You got our carpet, uh, beautiful thick floorboards on a house like this. You don't go cheap. This is somewhat of your media room, the game room as far as for the kids. I see all their electronic components. Center screen TV here with your speakers for nice surround sound all throughout. So a little media room it looks like. Library media room. Loving it. All right. Remember, we came in through that way, folks, right? The pool table room. Here's one of those en suites that I was talking about, folks. This bedroom, if your family, friends stay here, this is what they're gonna get. Little dim once again, but hey, what can we do about that? We can add more lighting and also replace some light bulbs that are out. Um, like in this case, these are out. But let's, give, let's show them off this room. Pull in and out of there just so you can show. It's a full bathroom, so if you stay here, you get your, your uh, tub, commode, shower, your, your smin. Let's see what else this house has to offer. Walk-in closet, more storage space, just linen closets galore. 5,000 square foot home, right? We're gonna find a lot. All right, so folks, when we go up this way, we're gonna end up on our entry level floor where the kitchen was and show it off a little bit. I wanna show you the koi pond and then go upstairs to the, the main uh, room. I'm gonna show you. It's gonna get a little confusing, right? We came in that beautiful entryway where I was talking about the cherry wood floor, the, the uh, staircase with the, also the cherry wood floor, the Brazilian cherry wood, and the travertine floor. Look at this office. With this coffered ceiling, recessed lighting, crown molding, nothing but elegant wood to use. Fireplace still, oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Shutters throughout. I would love this office for myself. This is very nice. Wow. It's not cheap to do those ceilings, folks. I love it. All right, and then like I said, we went straight off to the kitchen. I want to show you this, because if you want to go fishing, bring your fishing rod. Get up on these guys. I bet you they're going to ask you for some food. Here, doggy doggies. Hi, babies. Oh, I love it. Koi fish. One thing I learned about koi fish when I was young, see who can corroborate this. Uh, they'll grow just like a goldfish and, and uh, koi fish, they're similar. They'll, they'll grow to the size of their pond and, and uh, their habitation and population. So apparently you can get super large koi fish. That's one thing I've learned. So when this would be on, just imagine the waterfalls just flowing all throughout those higher sections. Coming in saying hi to the fishies, giving them some aeration. Beautiful use of uh, pavers all throughout here outside. We're still gonna go upstairs, folks, so we'll show you the valley from the up top uh, level. You're able to come up around the backyard to the koi pond as well from the garage side. All right. 
Does anybody want to guess what size bath this is? Is it a half, quarter, full, three quarter bath? It only has a toilet and a sink. What does that make it? What do you think? What does that make it? Half, full, three quarter, or a quarter bath? All not in that order. You want to mess with wires? Here's your communication hub. That's another thing, folks, when you're building, be smart enough to get somebody that understands modern technology and wiring because everything, don't get your basic electrician anymore. These uh, electricians need to be on top of their game, learning what to do with uh, um, uh, the new technology, new products that are out there. So for sure, you gotta get an electrician that's on his game, that's uh, staying up with their craft. Closets. Remember I mentioned there's three en suites? Uh, this is a, another one. Look at this. Frameless glass shower door. Granite countertops, beautifully finished when they remodeled it not long ago. Look at that deco work in there. For it to be frameless, frameless you know, uh, if you've been watching my channel, frameless glass shower doors do cost you quite a bit more. The glass is thicker, it's higher quality, higher grade, just to be able to go frameless. What do you think, folks? So far, so good. Let's go check it out. We got another room right upstairs to find. Here's another example of those cool grates on the floor. Just very nice, clean work. I love the railing that we're about to go up on. This house is amazing. Uh, as mentioned, Brazilian cherry wood uh, hardwood floors here, even on the staircase. Here's another seating area. What would you do with this? Sofa tables, ooh, maybe a reading area, possibly. Just a nice, tranquil, uh, setting here in the loft. Here's the chandelier from a close-up. All right, here's a good point, folks. Talking about grates, just the difference it makes. This grate or that grate. Small differences, right? But if it matters to you, it matters to you. Check it out. And then once going in here again, they kept the theme on with frameless glass doors. Beautiful deco band of tile work there. Double shower heads, your commode. Just loving it. Jetted tub. His and her sinks with granite countertops. A whole bunch of drawers and cabinetry. I would definitely uh, update some lighting. I'm loving it. Little linen closet there. Uh, here's where I get to show you the house from its top floor on both balconies, folks. We showed you the mountains, right? Let's see what the valley looks to us from this side. What I would definitely do on the decking is there's slats, there's slats and finishing the decking uh, material that you should put on your decking. Make it look better, that's what I would definitely do. But you tell me folks, is this a 360 view? Yeah, there's no way, let's see. My equilibrium is pretty on and I doubt that that building is higher than us. And that's the only one that I see can rival the height of this vantage point. Because those neighbors don't have a balcony as high as this, so this, just may be the highest house in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Show them off that, Vlad, unless you have already shot that for them. Look at the fish. Ooh, look at that big fish just with its wings open. All its fins looking like beautiful blue wings. Wow, I love it. All right, folks, enough fishing. Let's go see what the house has to offer. Let's give you that uh, mountain view from the other balcony. Oh boy, nice epoxy coated flooring on the ceiling, I mean, uh, uh, on the roofing. Looks like they did it not long ago, not too bad. The back part could use a little bit of attention. There's your Oregon Mountain, folks. Do you think you got a full range of the city? Look at that. What do you think, folks? Look at that, all the way. That is Mountain View Medical Center. Not far from here, we're gonna have your Albertsons. There's a community Walmart not far from here. Uh, to the downtown or to Mesilla, you're probably just eight, nine, 10 minutes away. So many things to do here, folks. You're right here by the Sonoma Ranch Golf Course. Um, it's just amazing. And um, 
El Paso, 30, 45 minutes. If you want to hit a major venue, which uh, they may have different from us, you're just a skip and hop away and you're back home. Okie dokie, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. 5,000 square feet. Uh, I forgot to mention a 12 kilowatt system that is supplying 74% of the power to this amazing home, complete with a koi pond, complete with the swimming pool, uh, water features, everything. So 74% uh, of your solar is gonna get covered by a 12 kilowatt system. Uh, everything you can ask for in a luxury, elegant home here in Las Cruces, New Mexico, just over 1.1 million. Uh, Renee Frank with the Smart Living team out of Keller Williams will help us because she's the listing agent of this property. She helped us uh, show this to you. Uh, so we want to say thank you to her uh, and be sure to call me like and subscribe Alfonso Garcia when you're looking for luxury properties like this or even starting in the low 200s you do need a good realtor to take care of you have a great day so if you want to know about where this neighborhood is and where this this park is free access to you and want to move to this area give me a call today Alfonso Garcia the Palms Realty